Here. Across the state, people are told to avoid large gatherings, but one group appears to have fallen through the cracks. Katie Weiss joining us live this evening to explain how social distancing has stopped with Denver's homeless community. Katie? Well, Jim, there's really two schools of thought here in terms of solutions for that problem. Some groups are calling for a larger shelter facility like the Coliseum. Other groups are asking the governor to commandeer vacant properties. Well, it's the recommendations of the CDC to practice as much social distancing as possible. Our homeless communities don't have that opportunity. Homeless advocacy groups are calling on Governor Polis to take several steps today to help Denver's homeless. We need auxiliary shelter space. We need it today and we need it immediately and we need staffing to do it. Several elected leaders, including Denver Mayor Michael Hancock, are asking for state support to open an alternate shelter at a larger facility. Our shelters do not have the space to give the necessary requisite physical distancing in order to help combat the, the coronavirus. But other activists say that's not an adequate solution. Instead, Benjamin Dunning with Denver Homeless Out Loud says the governor should use his authority to commandeer vacant buildings from private property owners to give the homeless an individualized place to stay during the pandemic. Otherwise, the homeless community is vulnerable, and if this stuff goes rampant in the homeless community, it's going to go rampant everywhere. So we're protecting everybody in the process of doing this. A spokesperson for Polis says he is leery of opening a larger shelter, and he's not committing on the commandeering option either. Instead, the governor would prefer to work with hotels to house more homeless. But Hancock says owners aren't quick to offer up space. We have a few that we are working through the legal pipeline to contract some rooms today, probably about 300, 400 rooms. Um, but I got to tell you, Kay, it's not been easy. And the mayor's office is asking for about 3,000 rooms. Meanwhile, Denver Homeless Out Loud tells me it knows of about 4,000 units that are currently available and vacant. Live in Denver, I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First.